Hi there. I'm Tech. This is my channel Bootlosophy. Yes, Bootlosophy. And I normally talk about boots, but this time I'm going to unbox a leather bag and give you my first impressions. Okay, so as you know, I normally talk about boots in this channel, but this time I'm going to talk about uh, a leather bag from Indonesian bag makers Kravar. Now, this is my third Kravar bag and I really like the make. I got turned on to Kravar by a review on uh, the Stridewise channel by Nick and also Karl Murawski did a review on one of his bags. I reached out to Yoki after I had a look at his uh, website the owner is uh, called Yoki, and I have to say, he is one of the most articulate, communicative men uh, who has provided customer service in his own business. As a management consultant, I really feel happy when I meet people like that who run their own small business, like hands-on, and still are able to provide perfect customer service, great communications. Anyway, I'll leave the details of the website at the bottom, and you can have a look at the bags in the description below. Um, I'd like to say though that uh, this is not sponsored, so full disclosure, I bought my bags from them. As I said, I've had all three. The first one I bought was called the FC13 in sand. Uh, it's a beautiful color and I use it as a kind of everyday briefcase uh, to take to work. Uh, it uh, puts in my uh, MacBook 13 Pro perfectly and fits a few notebooks and sorts of other things. I liked it so much that this Christmas I bought for my wife oy, a CO15 in espresso. Now I bought this for my wife for her laptop bag and she has filled it with her laptop and a spare screen and cables and whatever else. And I think she likes it very much as well. So this third bag, which you can see behind me in the box, is called the Rana 10. It's actually a camera bag. Let's get into it. This is the box that I've just picked up from my uh, post office box. Uh, Yoki uses DHL to send from Indonesia. Um, it takes about three days to get to Australia, three or four days. Um, and because I address it to a post office box um, for security purposes, they hand it over to Australia Post. And unfortunately, Australia Post takes another three or four days to get to me. But coming from Indonesia within the week is not too bad. Um, uh, Cravar usually packs it in a uh, simple cardboard box, properly addressed and everything, um, and is totally wrapped in the shrink wrap, which I think is um, quite amazing. So it's going to take me a while to get through the shrink wrap. Bear with me. And we'll see what's underneath. So, quite, quite secure. Um, it's a simple cardboard box, flips open on its own. Plenty of bubble wrap. Comes with a uh, cloth bag. Plain, simple cloth bag. And here it is, the Rana 10 in Fox. Um, the 10 signifies the dimensions. They also come as a Rana 11 uh, with two of these straps, a Rana 13 and a 15. It's primarily a camera bag. The Rana 10 does not usually have this handle, but I, I like my bags with a handle because um, if you don't and you just have the strap, when you're trying to reach across the car seat to pull it out from the passenger seat, you generally tend to have to grab the, the, the strap. So I like having a, 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 um, a handle to go with it. So I asked Yoki if he'd mind putting a handle on. He normally, because this is my third buy, would have given me a discount, but he said, look, don't use the discount. I'll put a handle on uh, for free. We'll trade off. Um, it's reinforced with an aluminum strip at the bottom so it doesn't pull on the leather. So what's inside?
leather strap and I've come accustomed to getting little freebies and in this case I have a uh, keychain on leather and a matching card carry case matching leather lovely the uh, strap is super thick um, I'll put it on after the unboxing and uh, I'll show you on my shoulder um, the inside as I said this is a camera bag the inside has these dividers attached with velcro so that you can basically divide the insides any way you like with various flaps to carry your camera equipment I'm probably going to use this as my everyday um, carry case and as you can see it's actually quite roomy for being quite a small one uh, has an outside flap to protect it from rain it has these little fold over leather flaps so that when you um, fold over the flap it's not open to the elements there's actually a, pr a protective leather layer there caused by that folding flap the inside is lined with some velcro uh, pieces so that you can attach those um, pads to divide it up um, there is this lovely red I'm not sure what it is, is it cotton? Uh, canvas uh, really nice lining material and a spacious front front flat pocket the uh, strap goes all the way around and is one strap and in fact there are very minimal pieces of leather used in this uh, there is one piece of leather that is, forms the back and the flap there is one piece of leather that forms the sides including this waterproof um, water resistant flap one piece of leather that goes all the way around the sides and the bottom one piece of leather across uh, the front lovely functional bag at the back is another little small flap for I guess little notebooks and you have this strap, pass-through strap, so that you can put it on your roller bags. Okay, so um, what I might do is just take a few photos of uh, this on my shoulder to see, uh, to show you the size and scale. By the way, this um, is actually quite stiff. The fastening is a is a sort of metal bolt that passes through the leather um, slits. And until you wear it in, it's actually quite hard to get in and out. But look, I don't mind that. It's just a little bit of extra security to me. Okay, so we'll take a few photos on shoulder and then we'll wrap up. So I'm taking this little roll to show you what the bag looks like uh, proportionately against your body when you've got it uh, on you. Um, just been careful not to touch the microphone or the um, receiver and cut myself off from the camera. Uh, as you can see, it, it sits quite well on the shoulder when you're wearing it crosswise. There's nothing in it, so it's very light. But if it's heavier, I think it would sit quite well on the single shoulder at the moment because it's light, it slips off. Um, but it would sit quite well there. Proportionately, I think it's really quite a great proportion for what I'm going to use it as, as an everyday carry bag to put in notebooks and pens and things, uh, masks, uh, sanitizers, that sort of thing, or to use it as a proper camera bag, which is what it was intended to do. Um, putting it crosswise is very comfortable across the chest. You can rest your, your arm on there. Um, it's safe uh, from anybody tugging away or, or trying to get into the flat. I think the handle that I asked Yoki to put on is really useful and I would consider it even if you have to pay a little extra. I'm going to put the details of the website where you can get this and how you can contact Yoki. Uh, I'm not sponsored, I just love this and I love his customer service so I'm quite happy to plug it. Um, and I'll tell you how much I paid for it in the description below. Uh, the uh, strap, as I said earlier, uh, is not metal and metal, it, there's a buckle through it, so 
you can hear against the microphone, there's no clanking of, of metal. Um, very silent little bag. I guess you could sneak up on someone with it. There you go. So there you have it. Um, let me know if you want reviews of the two other bags. I'd be happy to do them. Uh, you'll have to take uh, uh, the review of my wife's bag with a pinch of salt because I haven't used it. And let me know if you also want a long-term review of this bag, uh, the Rana, and I'll be pleased to bring it to you. So do me a favor, click on like and subscribe below and keep watching this channel because I will talk about boots and who knows, a few other leather products. See you soon.